Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Ramjanul Mubarak to all. I am Muhammad Miyajuddin, lecturer in English, Gott Murapara College. As per the direction of Education Ministry of Republic of Bangladesh and advised by Shukumar Das, Principal Acting, Gott Murapara College. I am going to start my online class for the students of HSC first year and second year. Hello my dear students, what about you? I think you are all well by the grace of Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also well by the grace of Allah. You know COVID-19, I mean coronavirus has spread as an epidemic form all over the world. Lockdown is going on globally. We are also in lockdown in our country. Only Allah knows when we will meet in the classroom again. So I request all my dear students to attend the online class attentively and follow them. So enjoy the class staying at home maintaining health rules as advised by the government thank you now let's start the class today's topic describing graph chart at first we'll know about graph and chart being able to understand and describe graphic information clearly is an important skill you need to show that you can interpret this type of factual information clearly and accurately now follow the board here is the question the graph below shows population growth rate from 2009 to 2000 13. Describe the graph in 150 words. You should highlight and summarize the information given in the graph. Here is the diagram. Look at the picture. This is called a bar chart. Now, how we can explain the chart? We can explain the chart in three steps. In the first stage, we will describe about the graph. Which type of graph is it? Is it bar chart or pie chart? Then at first, we will introduce with bar chart. What is bar chart? A bar chart is a chart with rectangular bars with lengths proportional to the bellows that they represent. In a bar chart, the bellows are given along one axis and each bar represents what being measured along the other axis. Let's explain the chart. We can start first steps in this way. This is a bar chart. Here are two lines in the chart. One is vertical line and another is horizontal line. Vertical line shows the percentage of the growth rate of population. On the other hand, horizontal line shows the time. Then we can start second stage in this way. At present, population growth rate is a burning question for our country. The graph shows population growth rate from 2009 to 2013. The graph shows that in 2009, the population growth rate was 2.80%. Here we find that in 2010, 
the population growth rate decreased or slowed down or went down and it was 2.16 percent the graph also shows that in 2011 the population growth rate again decreased again went down or slowed down and it was 1.90 percent but in 2012 the population growth rate increased or went up and it was 2.10 percent it is seen that in 2013 the population growth rate decreased again and it was 1.33 percent at last, we can explain the third stage in this way. By analyzing the chart, we can say that the highest population growth rate of Bangladesh was 2.80% and it was in 2009. On the other hand, the lowest population growth rate was 1.33%. And it was in 2013. It is evident that though there was fluctuation, fluctuation in the chart, the growth rate of population decreased gradually throughout the years. It indicates a positive positive aspect for the country. So, dear students. You can explain another bar chart in this way. That's enough for today. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.